last week I received several questions about the repertory views in Radar Opus. So that's why in this video I would like to explain everything about the repertory views. So this here at the top of synthesis is the repertory views and in this menu you see several options. So let me take this rubric as example. This is Mind Abrupt and there are 44 remedies in it. And if I click on this icon here, shows the authors, you see that all remedies have an abbreviation next to it of an author or a source. So let's take here, for example, Calcarea Carbonicum. Uh, this MTF33 is from Vargmaster. Then ST is from Pierre Schmidt and VH is coming from Vitukas. So if I look at Natrium Aticum, I see that it has a K and that indicates that it's coming from the original Kent repertory. Now let me switch to the Synthesis Adonis to the same rubric. So I single click on Soin's Synthesis Adonis and let me go to the same rubric, mind, abrupt, enter, enter. And by the way, you can not only use this icon to turn them on or off, but on the keyboard you can also press the space bar. So if I press once on the space bar, it shows the authors. And if I press another time, I only see the size of the rubric, the number of remedies in that rubric. If I press again on the space bar, I see the remedies again. So let me show here also the authors. And by the way, if you look at this uh, rubric size, it has 90 remedies compared to the Synthesis 2009, which had 44 remedies. So this strike through means that it is a correction. Then there are also remedies with a ZZ. That means they were not intentionally placed. They were not specifically placed in that rubric, but they are coming from a sub rubric and have been copied to a level higher. This has not been done automatically because that would have resulted in many errors which some other repertories have done. Now in Synthesis Odonis, there is also something unique, which is called uh, family remedies. That means that that abbreviation represents that family, so the whole group of remedies. And if you hold your mouse a while over such a family remedy, it shows uh, all the remedies which, are, which belong to that group. And if you do not like to work with these family remedies, you can switch them off. You can do that via the local options icon. You click on remedies and authors. And here you can switch off highlight or remove them completely. You can select don't display these families. Okay, I close again the local options. And let me continue with this repertory views. So if I click on it and open it, let me concentrate first on these top views. So from Kent Repertory, Pioneers, Classic, Modern, Reliable Sources, Classical, Quantum, Millennium, Full View and Remedies Not Copied, and Full Repertory. There is one more I like to focus on at this moment, that is from Wunzel, Eric from Wunzel View, which replaces the Vitukas view, which was no longer fully adapted to the new remedy abbreviations and the new sources. And Eric von Wunzu reviewed the whole list of all the authors and made a selection of the most reliable sources he would like to work with. So let me show you this in a graph. So this graph represents a repertory view from a few to all sources. 
So we begin with the Kent repertoire revised. It means there are some changes to Kent repertoire. There are personal additions from Kent. Uh, there are a few corrections and the structure has been changed a bit. Then you go up to 1843. That's the death of Hahnemann. So all sources, all authors until that date. The same is here until 1916. That's the death of Kent. So all sources, all authors until then. This is for 1987 for Pierre Schmidt. And then there is Jado Gallic. It can be positioned here. That's a known uh, German uh, high practitioner and teacher. And I placed here Erich von Munzel because it's located between these two. It has a few less sources than uh, Venisi Data. So these are sources from Venisi Dachtan who selected all those remedies he would like to work with in 99.9% .9 of the cases. Then there is the quantum view, it means conservative, and that more or less is the same as the blue book, the essential synthesis. And that contains so all the classical or 99% of all the classical uh, remedies. Then we have the millennium view, the progressive view. This includes new remedies, so new proven remedies in a Hahnemannian way. Well, I investigated all these sources, so all these provings done in a Hahnemannian way, and sometimes it's quite liberal how the proving was being done, but let's say Millennium View contains all the Hahnemannian proven remedies. Then we have the next view, that's the full view. So it also contains Jan Scholten remedies and uh, meditation provings and those kinds of uh, sources. But the remedies from sub rubrics are not yet copied to the main rubric. And then we have the full repertory. So that has all the sources. So let's go back to the repertory. So this rubric, Mind Abrupt, has 90 remedies in the full view. And here, Triticum Vulgarum, you see that it was not intentionally placed in this rubric, but it's coming from a sub-rubric. So if I go one step down, you see that tri Triticum Vulgarum has disappeared. So if I go to the Millennium view, I still have uh, 62 remedies and these two buttons are also interesting. If I click on this icon, it shows you all the remedies which are removed from that view. So I personally always like to have that icon on, that option on, that, it, that I always can see which remedies have been removed. Now this icon shows you those rubrics which are removed from a view that do not have any remedy anymore. So let me show that in a smaller view, which makes it more clear. So a quantum view, what I already said, has the more classical sources, so not the modern remedies. This is Venisi Dachtan, who selected from all the sources those remedies, those sources, which he liked to work with in 99% of the cases. This is a uh, Jado Gaelic. It's a bit more restricted. And then here are those views I mentioned, and actually they are in, in this order from more to less. So let's switch back to only Kent repertory. And then you see that only Natrum Uraticum, Platina and Torrentula remains and that are 86 remedies which have been excluded from that view. Now the second button here also becomes more clear. If I scroll up, you see here there are several rubrics where there are no remedies anymore remaining. So Mind Daytime has 11 remedies which have been excluded from that view, so it means that this rubric was not there in the original Kent repertory. 
So if I switch off this function, this icon, all those rubrics, which do not have any more a remedy in that view, are hidden. So I personally like to have that on, but it's of course your choice. You can also use these views in the analysis. So let me put it first to the full repertory. And let me take a few rubrics. So I take here abrupt, and let me take another large one. So just let me take mind, fear, the general rubric. Of course, nobody would want to take that in an analysis, but it's just for this example. So I take it. I open the analysis, and you can apply the views also here. So I can switch it back, for example, here to Kent Repertory. And these are the remedies which remain in Kent Repertory. And here from Wunzo, or for example, here the Quantum View, or Venice, or any view you prefer to work with. You could also make it a habit that you are working with a limited view. So let's say from Eric von Wunzel. So then you are focusing on the most reliable sources. And only if you really think you need a new remedy, you could switch, for example, here to the full repertory. It just depends on how you are working. So there's one thing I have to say about these views in the analysis. When you repertorize, you should take all symptoms from one repertory. So, or you take them all from the synthesis 2009, or all from the synthesis Adonis. Because when you mix them from two repertories, uh, the repertory view will not be active. And that is because some remedy and author abbreviations are not exactly identical in both repertories. So let me go back here to the repertory. Let me switch off the authors. There are also a few other options. So I have here an option show only mineral remedies or show only plant remedy or only animal remedy. So let me select the animal remedies. And now in mind fear, there are only animal remedies. And if I switch on this button, you see that there are 793 remedies, which are not an animal remedy, and they are excluded from this view. So let me put it back here to the full repertory. Now in the analysis, it's also possible to limit or highlight not in general the plants or the minerals, but also more specific. So let's say I want to check if there's a Solanacea in this analysis. I open here the list of families. I type Solana and I select here, for example, ABG2. I right mouse click on it and I can select limit or highlight. If I do highlight, let's see if there is a remedy from the Solana Sea. Yes, here is Belladonna and Stramonium. And of course, if I do limit, limit to, I only see those remedies from the Solana Sea. So I think that was it. Let me just summarize. So the repertory views. Starting from Kent Repertory, you go a step up to Pioneers Classic Modern. So here, Kent Pioneers Classic Modern. Then the Reliable Sources. Eric von Wunzo is located here. And the Classical Sources from Venice, Quantum, Millennium. Full View Remedies Not Copied from Subrobics. And this is the Full View. So Radar Opus offers you a perfect tool to work with those sources which you like to work with in your practice.